Time for a conversation, our monthly conversation with their friends from ICTC, brought to you by Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. Let's get them up on the line here this morning and to talk to, well, a few folks, as a matter of fact. Kelly Fox has joined uh, uh, with her, Emily McCallan, who's a senior machining student at ICTC. And on the other line, I've got Mike Resente, uh, who is a part of the Southwestern PA group that have coined themselves as the COVID Avengers. Oh, I can't wait for that. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Todd. Hey, it's good, good to morning. have you. Good to have you with us. Hi, Emily. How are you? Hey, good, thanks. How are you? Just lovely. Just lovely. What school do you go to? I go to Blairsville High School. You're a Blairsville student. All right. And an ICT yep. student. Kelly, let's let's get rolling on the segment here. Find out about Emily and what's going on at ICTC. Yeah, we really have a twofold update this morning for our listeners, Todd, and we're so happy to focus in on everything happening right out of our machining technology program at the ICTC. And so first up, I'm glad you introduced Emily. Emily McCallan is a senior female student in our machining program. And uh, part of me feels a little weird about uh, focusing in on that, but really this is history in the making right now. <laughs> Emily, Emily, did you know you're a pioneer? Very first female to complete all of the requirements of our machining technology program at the ICTC. And, you know, I've worked at the ICTC for many years, and so this is a big deal for me because I've seen a few females start the program, but never have we had any female finish for whatever reason. And uh, so it's just real nice to see someone like Emily be dedicated and really love the trade, and uh, here she is now a senior, and we're able to highlight her and her accomplishments. So I really want to focus this morning on her, and uh, she has a wonderful instructor, Mr. Mike Resente, who's on the other line, and he's been out during this COVID school closure time using his machining skills to give back to our community, and we couldn't be more proud of him right now for doing all that he is doing as well. Oh, that's amazing. All right, Emily, let's let's talk about this a little bit. What made you want to enter the machining technology program at ICTC? Okay, well, that was actually because of my instructor, Mr. Sunny. Whenever I went through four tours, he actually pointed me out in the group and told me about how interesting it could be. And he also told me that no girl has graduated yet. So I was like, okay, it's a challenge. Let's do it. <laughs> well, how about that? Uh, was it uh, something you had had any interest in before? Actually, no. I had no interest in it before. Like, once I started touring, I realized I wanted to do that. But before that, I didn't want to do anything at ICTC. So it's kind of weird, but... <laughs> Okay, so what does appeal to you about it? I mean, it, obviously you've stuck with it all the way through, and and you're very successful at it. Uh, so what is it about machining technology that uh, really jumps out at you? I'm going to have to say working with all the guys, just because it's, it's less drama, and it, they're so much fun to work with, and they make it so much fun to work. Like, it makes it so much easier to work because even if I fail, they're still there to put me back up. They're going to pick you back up indeed. Hey, Mike, uh, let's talk a little bit about it. This, this student, Emily, that you, you pointed out at, uh, at a tour, that's really a great way for this to work, isn't it? It really speaks highly of the tour itself. Yeah, uh, um, we try to encourage a lot of females to, to enter the field of machining. Um, women make up about one-third of all manufacturing workforce in the U.S. And, and I think we have to break that stigma of it's, it's a man's job. Um, we need to educate these students and break those old myths of the dirty atmospheres. Um, we point them towards role models like the CEO of Lockheed Martin, General Motors, are females. Mm -hmm. Executive Vice President of American Crane, are female. Um, we, we try to, to provide that hands-on experience, that early STEM intervention, um, what they can do and where they can go with that. So the tours make a big difference for us. Well, it's a brave new world, isn't it, for, for, for yes. girls in education, for women in the field. Uh, for those who don't know, what is machining technology? What's that program all about? So machining technology is what we call subtractive manufacturing, where we take a, a piece of steel, a piece of aluminum, 
and we craft it into a functional part. Um, it could be a die to make plastic injection moldings. Um, it, it's the I call it the behind the scenes uh, aspect of the world. Um, we make things that make things. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a great way to put it. Emily, obviously you discovered that. Um, what What's really fun about it, about the job? Is there uh, something that says to you, you know, this is, I, I just made that. That's me. Yeah, I mean, I think it was really fun to, like, once I come up with a piece of stock and then machine it myself and realize that I can actually do this. Like, this is really cool. And then once I got into the 3D printing part in my senior year and my in the um, CNC, um, I thought it was super cool how I can program something or I can make something myself to do it. Mm-hmm. And uh, what have you made here in the, in well, this year, but uh, recently? What, what was the most recent thing that you worked on? Um... <laughs> Uh, the most recent thing that we were working on was something for CNC. We were doing this that we had to engrave something on this one part, and we were trying so hard to figure out how to hold it because it was um, magnetic. Mm-hmm. So if we put a tool down there, it would stick to it. So we were trying to figure that out. We did figure it out, but we didn't get to finish it because of everything that just happened. Yeah, yeah, but that's that's interesting problem solving that has to go on there. Mike, I'm sure that that's a whole part of this this whole thing with uh, with machining is is figuring out how, how things are going to work before you build them. Yeah, that's that's right, Don. Um we call it productive struggles. <laughs> uh, we have to think on our feet um and and overcome uh questions like how do you hold it and what kind of tools do we have to machine it with? And that happens in industry every day. So it's it's really relevant um, to the machining world um, outside our walls. Hey, Mike, also within the community there at ICTC, there are some wonderful things being done uh, with COVID-19. And you and the COVID Avengers, which I, I'd love to see your uniform, uh, you've been busy uh, in, in your own habitat, as it says here, creating masks and shields for the community first responders, medical personnel, uh, and uh, you've uh, been, you know, you've been doing all kinds of things in that area, haven't you? Uh, we sure have. Actually, we teamed up with um, uh, IUP and Homer City is a big input. Um, IRMC, we all kind of got together, and collaborated. Um, we saw that there was a need for these face shields on the front line. Um, so we we rescued all of our 3D printers out of our schools. Homer City let us go in and and take out the 3D printers, ICTC let us in, Indiana, Marion Center, Penns Manor. So across the community, we have our students out there sharing files and producing these headbands. Um, We collect the headbands, we assemble the face shields to them, and we deliver them. Um, Right now, uh, by Friday, we will have 600 face shields out in the community Places like IRMC, uh, Citizens Ambulance, Homer City Fire Department, Fountains of Indiana. We're working on a shipment to Torrance Hospital. Um, it, it's absolutely phenomenal what these kids did, totally unplanned, and how they came together as a community to help in the need. Wow, that is absolutely fantastic. Kelly, I know you're proud, too. Oh, absolutely. Anytime. Uh, that we can do something to give back to the community. It makes us feel good. You know, we like to think that ICTC is a vital part of our Indiana community, not only in the technical skills that we're training our students with, but also when it comes to things uh, like this. Uh, We're so glad to see our teachers and our students. I mean, Mike didn't focus on that a little bit, but we have a lot of students, right, Mike? Uh, We sure do. Out in all of their schools. (laughs) that are doing this on their own. So in addition to them keeping up with their schoolwork and things like that, they're using some of their time, not on a video game or anything like that, but they're using their skills to make these face shields and to do their community service, and that's a great thing. Yeah, of course, we've heard the term PPE, and we've finally become acquainted with it, but it's long been known within the healthcare industry and other industries as well. And, Mike, really, you know, the machining mission at ICTC and around the world, uh, that this – sort of thing is just made for the machinists to step in and, and do their part. Absolutely. Um, 
and, and the great thing about it, Todd, is it's not age disc- um, discriminative. We have people that are nine years old to ninety years old helping out right now. <laughs> so elementary school kids, junior high kids, senior high kids, and some grandpas said, "Wow, that's really neat. Let's try it." So it's it's really cool to see the community come together like that. Really is. All right, we've got a few it's minutes the left technology here. Technology too. I mean, these folks have these printers and things in their homes and so everybody's working independently so they're they're maintaining the social distance and still giving back yeah it's just amazing I and mean, we're hearing story after story all about it hey emily one last time with you i don't want to let you go before we uh, find out what you plan to do with your ictc education where do you go next well i plan on getting a job sometime after i get my diploma and everything mm-hmm. with all this going on um, don't know exactly where I'm going to go yet, but I just definitely want to stay around here in Indiana County. So it'll be something around here. <laughs> oh, terrific. Terrific. We need minds like that still staying around the community and helping us out. Thanks for being with us this morning, Emily. Appreciate it. Well, thank you for having me. Mike, Kelly, anything else we need folks to know about ICTC right now? No, it was just so nice to highlight Emily this morning. I believe, you know, we, we want to promote success for all of our students and all of our programs. And when I said earlier, it made me feel a little uncomfortable to focus in on the fact that Emily was a female. We have females in every program. We have males in every program. But it's when when there's, there is still that non-traditional feel to some of the areas. And so for Emily to achieve this, I think, is something that we wanted to highlight and uh, Mike gave a lot of the statistics there that really hit the nail on the head with males and females doing their best in the environment of machining technology and, and then able to give back to the community. So that's what this was all about this morning is just highlighting some of the good that's still going on through a pandemic. Yeah, I know, Mike. It must have made your heart feel good, too, to hear Emily say that the guys in the program made her feel very comfortable working with them, too. <laughs> yeah, we... We kind of control that atmosphere up there. It's a, it's a very uh, hard-working atmosphere. Everybody has something to do, um, regardless of of gender or or race. There's a need for everyone in manufacturing. So, for all the the females out there in eighth and ninth grade, think about machining as a career path. Uh, the job opportunities are are out of this world right now. We need more people. Um, the pay is good. You can stay local, or I could send you to California. They're, they're all across the world. So it's a great program to get involved in. Good stuff. Good stuff. Hey, all, thanks for being with us this morning. Thanks, Todd. Appreciate thanks, Todd. It. Thank you for having us. My pleasure. Bye now. Bye. All right. Stay safe. It's the voice of Indiana County, WCCS, AM 1160, 101.1 FM, 101.1 FM.